Hello everyone, my name is Jesus Rivera and I'm here to talk to you about my family's experience at beautiful Bush Gardens in Williamsburg, Virginia. As you guys might know or not know, our home park is Bush Garden, Tampa. So we were very excited to have this one day adventure at Bush Garden, Williamsburg. We happened to be in Williamsburg, Virginia, and we decided to stop by the park and see what the hype was all about because all we hear is how beautiful this park is. Uh, Bush Gardens, Tampa is an Africa themed park, but this Bush Garden, Williamsburg is a actually an European theme park. And I tell you, it is a beautiful, beautiful, stunning park as soon as you walk in. As you can see, we went for Thanksgiving break and it was the perfect time because the trees were all in this fall season and it looked absolutely beautiful. The colors of the trees and just the atmosphere was excellent. The day we went, the park um, was not very full. It was halfway full, halfway empty. And it was the perfect time just to go to this park and be able to enjoy the rides. We went for the first week of the Christmas season at this Bush Garden Park and some of the rides were closed and that is something that we will discuss a little later in the video but we were able to get on some rides and boy let me tell you were this rides amazing but the first thing that grabbed our attention again was the beauty of this park. This park with this European theme back in the day it just it was beautiful then being decorated with all the christmas decoration it made this park just stand out so much as soon as we walked in my kids started talking about how much beautiful this park is compared to bush gardens tampa and i had to explain to them that there is two different themes here uh, you cannot compare this european theme to the African theme. Uh, as soon as we went in, we went to a store just to look at what they had to sell and everything and everything was decorated with Christmas and they had this amazing shirts, sweaters, all, all the stuff that you need, especially in this Christmas time. And it was just great. As you can see, they had stuffed animals. Um, and a cool part right here is at the end of this, on the wall, they have jerseys and sweaters from all European countries. So that is really, really, really cool. Um, and my daughter, she's a fan of all the European soccer team. So she was very excited to see that. And let me tell you, again, this tin man, look at him, looking great right there. And this store, as soon as you walk in, it is absolutely beautiful. And as you can see, they have all type of gear and accessories that you need. And we went in there to see if I can buy a sweater for myself because it was a little chilly and I left my sweater. And after that, we went out. And as you can see, you can see this building right here. And with the doors being red, it looked like it was decorated for Christmas, even though it is there year round like that. There's the big old clock when you go in there. And if you see, this looked like an all European valley. And that's what makes this so special. You feel like you are not in the United States anymore. You are in a different country. And that is something that a lot of things parts forget about. Here's the little train right here. This train, they have actually one in Tampa, but this one looks a little different just based on <laughs> the theme. And it was absolutely great. You can see it here how the train is just going and the, my baby, she's a two-year-old, she was so excited for it. And she was so happy to get to see this train. We were not able to ride it because of time, you know, with the time, but we were able to see it. And here you see the water, how beautiful it is. And now you see my wife, Liz, and my son, Jesus, they're gonna ride on the Finnegan's Flyer. And this is a big old swing that swings you 80, feet up in the air and at 45 miles per hour so it is a really really cool but intense ride and it's one of the newer rides there at Bush Garden Williamsburg and it was the first thing that we got to see and once they got on it it was absolutely great they were able to enjoy it and 
I was recording them again. We didn't have much time for, to do multiple rides um, because the time for in Christmas time, Bush Garden opens from 10 to 3 and then from 5 to 10. So we went to the morning one, 10 to 3, because of the kids, so they can get on all the rides. So we didn't have enough time to do everything we wanted, so we were able to get on each ride once. So they here, they get on, they got on this swing, this Finnegan flyer, and they're telling me the experience was amazing. As you can see right here, you feel like you are on the ride, and it is intense. It is very, very, very intense, this ride. And they were just telling me how great it was. <laughs> and my wife was actually scared a little bit and she's not afraid of heights so that tells me something i'm a person that i'm a little bit afraid of heights so maybe this right um might scare me off a little bit and here you see the baby she's running to mom after the ride mom is safe mom is happy my son jesus a little shake off still so he's a little serious here and from there um you my wife is talking about how great um the ride was here you see this tree uh, from um the finnegan's flyer outside and it looked absolutely great um this is a restaurant that looks like a castle here and it is actually a theater i'm sorry and castle sullivan right here as you can see is just beautifully themed the theme is all over the place in this park and that is something that really really amazed me just being able to watch this and here we got to a part that i really enjoy which is the animal area and here we got to see for the first time i've ever seen a bald eagle i've never seen a bald eagle in my life so that was something pretty pretty cool and then we got to see an owl an owl face to face it's not the same thing that when you go to bush garden tampas you see giraffes you see tigers lions here we got to see horses wolves owls ball eagles you know everything you can think of mostly birds and this lady scared me off right here uh that was a little freaky but it was pretty cool and here again we see how the decorating for christmas the big old snowman and um, it's right there this trees um with people climbing them um i believe because this is themed towards griffin a little bit uh because this is the area where griffin is and let me tell you this is absolutely great and you can see again the theming i gotta keep talking about the theming the theming is outstanding in this park and everything again i feel like i was in a different country now we were walking towards griffin and let me tell you we've been in shikra before and we wanted to go to Griffin to see the difference. And believe it or not, we saw the we felt the difference in Griffin. You don't see it when you are seen from outside, but when you ride it, when you get on this ride, I mean, it is pretty intense. Um, do I prefer over Chikra? I want to say yes, I do prefer over Chikra. And most of it is because this ride, when you're going up, in the in the first part of it in shikra it goes very slow but in this one goes faster and it feels a little more intense and you can feel it uh the intensity of it so that's why i will prefer just by a tiny hair bit over shikra and that is the way it is supposed to be because these are sister coasters basically they're from the same manufacturer the same layout just a tiny little difference in between um i believe um griffin is a little bit taller you know the height the drop is a little higher than shikra but besides that the layout is almost the same it is a great 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 ride and shikra being one of our favorite rides at bush garden tampa and we've been able to ride this one and compare is it is an amazing experience i thought um when i was gonna ride it okay same thing as shikra but no i did feel the difference so it was a great 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 ride and from there we went to alpine guys and alpine guys was let me tell you it's a great ride it is the sister coaster to Montu at bush gardens or uh, tampa but this is themed different it's a cold theme you know alpine guys you have snow all over Montu is blue alpine guys is white and when 
I saw this ride is really, really impressed me because I was able to see the layout a little better than you can see it from month to a first hand. And when you ride it, it is a great experience. This is the only ride we were able to ride twice. Um, we rode in the front and in the back. I always prefer the front because of the view. It is absolutely beautiful, especially with the inversions and the loops in this coaster. I mean, it is absolutely great. Then we get on the back and my kids prefer the back actually because of the intensity of it, but I'd rather have view over intensity. And if I compare it to Mantu, I have to stick with Mantu. Uh, Mantu uh, still is a little higher on my rankings for me compared to Alpine guys. And I think Mantu ha might have, I might be wrong, a couple of more inver inversions than Alpine guys. And it just feels a more solid ride than Alpine guys. But again, just like Griffin and Shikra, it is really, really, really hard to compare sister coasters because these two coasters are mimicking each other, are almost the same. But just again, being able to ride them both, uh, it is an absolute experience. And as you can see here, we are riding it and just the view, the view, it is breathtaking this view from the fall season and the trees being different color made this special but again if i have to choose between uh, alpine guys and mantu i prefer mantu by a little hair in the chin chin, chin right <laughs> then from there we went to invader and invader uh, it was something i was really looking forward to um, it's my first time getting in this ride or I never been to a sister ride of this even though uh, my home theme park is Bush Garden in Tampa um, we started going to Bush Garden Tampa after Guazi um, was taken down and Invader has some of the tracks from Guazi as you guys all know so I was very excited to get on this ride and let me tell you it is a small ride but it is intense it is a very intense wooden roller coaster very tiny very small but it is forceful <laughs> and it is something that it took me uh a minute to you know get used to because i was like oh i didn't expect it to be that forceful for being such a tiny wooden coaster so i underestimated a little bit but it was a great experience then from there we went back and we were looking at you know the park and again we go back to the theming the christmas theming and the european theming together makes something special this is special uh, just when you combine the two it is a great 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 um combination and this part just looks outstanding this that's a, i guess it's a big leprechaun i don't know much about this but the scarves blew me away i love scarves <laughs> and uh, I'm a wrestling fan, so Chris Jericho have scars all the time, and I love scars. But again, the theming, it is great here. As you can see, this building, there it is, Bush Garden Christmas celebration. Uh, the pony is right there. And here, more, more buildings. And that is something that Bush Garden Tampa does not have. And again, this is the kiss area. And here we got to get to ride Bell Bolton. That was our first experience here and we did not know what to expect out of this ride. This ride takes you indoors, dark, and then from there, you know, you have a massive drop and takes you outside. And my kids actually say that is the best coaster they ever been to. I still will rank um, Montu and definitely um, um, Mako, which is my number one coaster that I've been on higher than Vol Bolton, but Rare Bolton was very, very, very good. Probably the best out of the four, the five rides that we rode at Bush Gardens, Williamsburg. And the sad part is we weren't able to ride all the rides and we wanted to, but they were closed. Here you see the guys sing, singing. It was a great atmosphere for Christmas, but things that we wish that we would have done was ride some of these coasters like this lock monster which is the yellow coaster that you see there um i don't know why it was closed because of the christmas celebration it was in the same area 
as Alpine guys, Griffin and Invader, but they must know why it's closed. Uh, I hear it's a very stiff ride, but I wanted to ride it, and this is the one I ride to, wanted to ride the most, Apollo's Chariot. Um, this is just almost the same layout as Mako, so I was very interested in riding this coaster, and a lot of people say they prefer Apollo's Chariot over Mako, so that is something that I'm looking forward to next time we visit Bush Gardens um, in Williamsburg because it is an absolute beautiful layout uh, for this coaster and it looks massive yeah, so that is something that we are really 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 looking forward to and also we want to ride you know Tempesto we have been able to ride Tigris at Busch Gardens in Florida and Tempesto is the sister coaster for Tigris so we wanted to you know get on it and compare the two because Tempesto and Tigris are those launch coasters that are really short, really fun, and it is something that I will like to ride. So those are the Rise Plus Pantheon, which is the new coasters coming out. It looks like Icebreaker that's going to be coming out also in SeaWorld Orlando, so we're really excited. Our overall you know, review for this park, it's a beautiful park, it's a very, very clean park, let me tell you, never seen a park so clean in my life, so we really enjoy and love this park, we want to come back, hopefully we get to come back this summer, but hey, if you've been to this park, please leave your comments in the bottles and let us know what you think about this, par this park, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share with your friends, and if you haven't been to this park, let us know do you want to come to this part and which part would you like us to go to and show you a little bit about well guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video please again subscribe to the channel share the video and like it so it will be till next time so peace